session players also on the session. Uh, Charles Cochran, who co-produced the record with Merle, played piano. And uh, there was a drummer named Jim Isbell. And uh, Jim Isbell had never been around people that knew about the fast side of the bluegrass beat. And uh, we cut this song. And Jim Isbell and Doc was really happy with the take. And uh, he, Jim Isbell, the drummer, come running in, says to the piano player, he says, man, it's, uh, it's like everything's about to speed up. And Charles Cocker says, yeah, man, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. So we'll do the good uh, key of A. Barney Fife up here, and somebody's out tuning. I'll lay out this time, see if I can figure out who it is. <laughs> You've got eight choices. Uh, we'll do the good Benny Martin kickoff on this in the key of A. One, two, three, hold the A. From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore, to the queen of the flowing mountains, to the hills and by the shore. She's mighty tall and handsome, she's known quite well my own. She's the regular combination called the Walmash Cannonball. Now listen to the jingle, the grumble, and the roar. As she climbs along the woodland, through the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engine, hear the lonesome hobo squall. We're traveling through the jungle on the Walmash Cannonball. Home in Dixie on that Walmash Cannonball. 